Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the introduction to linear inequalities or the graph of linear inequalities. So in graphing linear inequalities, these are the things you need to know. So to graph, we have the broken line and the solid line. In broken line, we use this if we have the symbol the less than or the greater than. And for the solid line, we use the solid line if we have the less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. And for the word problems, these are the things you need to know in order for you to write the linear inequalities. For the less than, we have is less or smaller than, is below or under, is fewer than, is shorter than, is lower than. For the greater than symbol, we have is greater than or more than, is above or over, exceeds, is larger or longer than, is higher than. And for the less than or equal to, we have at most, is not greater than, does not exceed, does not exceed, has maximum value, is no more than. And for the greater than or equal to, at least, is not less than, is not under, has minimum value, is more than or equal to. Now, in this video, we're going to discuss how to use the broken line and the solid line. Let us graph this example. y is greater than 2x minus 3. In linear equation, we can graph this using the rise over run. Or simply, it is written in the slope intercept form. We can rewrite as y is equal to 2x minus 3. So this is our b, negative 3, and m, y, uh, 2 over 1. Okay, the things we need to know. So plot negative 3, negative 3, then 2, rise, 1, 2, then positive, going right, 1. Now connect the points. Now, how are we going to use the broken line and solid line? Since we have a symbol greater than, and in our broken line, we have the greater than, so we need to use broken line. That means this line is not included. Okay, broken line. Okay, this will be our line, the broken line. Since this is inequalities, what, num or what part of our Cartesian plane are we going to shape? So we need to test 0, 0. So 0, 0. So 0 is greater than 2 times 0 minus 3. So 0 is greater than 2 times 0, 0 minus 3. 0 greater than negative 3. Is 0 greater than negative 3? Yes. Okay. It satisfies our inequality at point zero zero. That means if, if it satisfies our point, therefore, we need to shade the part that is the origin is included. So this point. Okay, this will be our graph. Now, to better understand, we will be discussing graphing of linear inequalities. This time, we have two linear inequalities here. I'll make sure that you watch our tutorial videos in introduction to uh, linear inequalities, graphing linear inequalities, and the sample videos of that topic. Now, we have 3x plus 4y is greater than 12 and 3x minus y is greater than or equal to 12. 
So in our linear equations, we have a lot of methods to use uh, to graph this kind of inequalities. We have the uh, slope-intercept form or the intercept form. Now, first step, we need to rewrite first into equation. So we have this will become 3x plus 4y is greater than greater than 12 so I need to change this into equal sign and the other one is 3x minus y is greater than or equal to 12 change this into equal sign now choose what method you're going to use the intercept or using the rise over run so let us try Using this is the rise over run. So we have 4y is equal to move negative 3x plus 12. Now divide by 4. 4. So y is equal to negative 3x over 4 plus 12 divided by 4. This is Okay, this will be our equation. Now, if we're going to graph, plot positive 3, positive 3, this will be our point, then rise negative 3, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 up, then since that is negative, we need to 4 run. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So the point is here. Again, plot positive 3, then 1, 2, 3, rise, then going left 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we can now connect our points. But take note, this is greater than, so we're going to use the broken line. Broken line. Okay, this will be our line. Now, what part of our Cartesian plane are we going to shade? Is it on the upper part or in the lower part? So we need to check the origin or we need to test our zero zero. So to test, so we have three times zero plus four times zero is greater than twelve. So zero plus zero greater than 12 0 is greater than 12 so this is false so that means the 0 0 is not included so therefore this will be our graph okay now we are done in our first inequality now proceeding the second let us use the intercept. So let x be equal to 0. So let us find y. So 0 times 3. So 0 minus y is equal to 12. Now we have negative, negative y is equal to 12. So y is equal to negative 12. So the point is 0, negative 12. And the other one, let y be equal to 0. So 3x minus 0 is equal to, uh, is equal to 12. 3x is equal to 12. Divide by 3. x is equal to 12 divided by 3. 
So the point is 4, 0. Now, 0, 12, plot in our partition plane. So 0 going to negative 12. We didn't have enough space. Let's say 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the other one, 4, 0, 4, 0. 4, 0. So if we're going to connect that, Okay. Okay, this is greater than or equal to, so we need to use the solid line. So I've got 12. Solid line. Okay, let's say this is our line. Now we're going to test the origin. What part are we going to shade? On this part or on that part? So we have. 3 times 0 minus 0, is it greater than or equal to 12? So 0 greater than or equal to 12, again it's false. So the rightmost part is the area that we're going to shape. We don't, uh, we, we don't need to include the Okay, since this is false, the part that we are going to shade is this area. Okay, this will be our graph. Then notice that we have two shaded region. This one. So, this area or any points in that area satisfies our given inequalities so this the points in this area double shaded so that's on how to solve a uh, linear inequalities in two variables thank you for watching senior Pablo team